What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. We've got an unboxing of a whole bunch of stuff here. Some stuff from Tackle Warehouse, some stuff from LureNet, some stuff kind of in between. Oh, man, this is, we've got some fun things in here. Enough yapping, let's, let me, from LureNet. And again, I'll leave all this linked below, but LureNet, of course, I am partnered up with them this year. So if you purchase anything over there, you can use my code, Debo15, uh, get 15% anything off. And that includes some Booyah spinner baits. Y'all know I like the Booyah spinner baits, but. They did release a new bone color, which I personally really like. That kind of dirty, off-white with a little bit of yellow into it, that bone color. Instead of a bright white, to me it's a little bit more natural. So they made some spinner baits of these. And they do have different blade configurations, but this is the little finesse covert, really like that one. They also released the little Yum Pulse Minnow in that bone color, which looks really good. And this is going to fit perfect on... One of these, also in the bone color, that little Booyah Mobster Swim Jig. That is going to be a cool, you know what, hold on. I figured I'd get that all rigged up for you. That's what that little Mobster Swim Jig looks like with that Yum Pulse Tail Minnow on it. Absolutely killer looking little color combo there for Shad Spawn coming up. Shad, that bone color I really like, you know, from the bottom looking up, that could look like a, you know, a white bass, a, the belly of a, a largemouth bass, all kinds of stuff. And you don't have to have a lake. People ask me that all the time. You don't have to have a lake with shad to show to throw white shad colors. Could be a crappy, could be all kinds of different things, but white is definitely a good color. A lot of times it's just a contrast color, so that bone color is going to catch some fish. They also have that 3.25 inch craw chunk in the bone color. I'll be honest, I really don't throw this craw a whole lot. Does have some good flip to it, you know, kind of a more of a flappy nature to it but uh, if you want that for bed fishing on a jig boom okay also over from LureNet, these things have been all the talk of the town the new great lakes finesse stuff and this is their little i call it the hoovy craw if you old school wrestlers remember old hoventude guerrero yeah, well anyway we digress uh the juvy craw because it looks like a little tiny baby crawfish and that in fact it does it looks like a little balled up crawfish you know when they spit up a craw get them up on the boat they spit one of those up that's what it looks like all you know crushed and condensed in there looks just like a little tiny baby craw and they also sell the great lakes mini tube and the easy thing about these it's a little bit stouter hook it's not a super tiny fine wire hook i mean it's it's got some uh focus for me there baby it's got some some stoutness to it and really all you're doing is you take this insert it push it to the end of it make sure it's centered pop that eyelet through then you can make sure this part's centered and there you go. You got a super easy to rig up little tiny craw tube bait. I've been hearing uh, the guys crushing the small mouth on these and it is a very tasty little craw looking morsel. So that's the green pumpkin chartreuse belly, kind of like your summer craw color. We've got the frosted shad, kind of funny, in a, a crawfish color, but that could look like a molting shad. They get that real light color to them, especially in clear water. Got the all black. I know it's kind of a boring color in lures. You know, people like to add flake and all this stuff to it, but just a straight black lure creates a perfect little silhouette. Clear water, dirty water, black's great. One of my favorites, green pumpkin, purple flake. Green pumpkin, purple and copper. I like that one. Got green pumpkin, red flake. And last up, green pumpkin with the orange belly. I don't throw the green pumpkin orange enough. I need to give that more of a try. Okay, and last up from over at LureNet, some more of these little tiny Helgramites. I think I might have shown you these uh, some time ago. This is, like I said, one of my favorite colors, the green pumpkin purple. Y'all know I'm a fan of purple. That's what these little dudes look like. So on just a little Ned rig, very, very, you know, Helgramite-ish in the streams crawling along there in the creeks. Um, a lot of guys have been drop shotting it. I think I would have to throw this on a little Ned rig, but yeah, cool little bug looking deal. Even if you don't see a lot of Helgramites in your area, it's just one of those tasty, easy looking little bug deals. Got some of those in the brown pumpkin special. Got like a little bit of gold flake in it. This is smoke clear purple, kind of a smoky gray plastic with purple flake. That frosted shad color again, and then meltdown, which is your all straight chartreuse. Yeah, speaking of that chartreuse, I got a little special color here. You had to beat the Bassmaster Classic to get it. I was not there. So my man Grant, shout out today's Fish and Friend. Subscribe Fish and Friend is my dude Grant. Uh, another eye on here. Look at this. That's the Sooner Secret color. Got a couple packs for me. Got a couple packs for the Burly Boys because I may be uh, meeting up with them here soon. As long as everything goes through just right. It's got a, a black top with like some silverish flake in it. It has a purple line in the middle. So this is a hand poured Robo Worm Missile Baits collab. 
in the belly chartreuse. I wouldn't have got this if it wasn't for Grant. Thank you for picking them up, man. These are absolute killer. If you've not used these, I really like these worms a lot. It's the six inch magic worm. You get 14 to a pack. They're a little bit more expensive than some others, but the colors they're doing collabing, like I said, with, uh, with Robo Worm, Missile Baits and them working together. Some beautiful, beautiful colors. So if you're at the Classic and got some of those, awesome. I had to share that because that color was mm. Then it was just kind of a bunch of random stuff from Tackle Warehouse. There's gonna be a whole separate kind of going through all the features of this. Um, I have had it out and used it, but this is, uh, y'all know I was excited for it, the new Shimano SLX MGL 70, my favorite in the Shimano SLX lineup, this little MGL. You can do so much with it. We'll do kind of a, a look at this comparison to the old one uh, and talk about it now that I've used both of them. But I did grab a couple of these because I like them so well. And they are still in stock. So again, I'll leave the link below for anything over there at Tackle Warehouse. Grab one. Uh, I can assure you, you will not be displeased with that reel. Speaking of reels, I also got a couple of these. Had a bunch of folks asking me about um, the Lou's uh, Lucas Oil collab, I guess. Um, I just got the regular Super Duty real oil. So any spots where I'm going to use oil, I'm going to try this stuff out. I do like that it has the little tiny needle applicator because when it comes to oil and stuff, less is more. You don't want to overdo it. And I got some of the Daiwa uh, Space Age, they call it, real grease here. It's in kind of a cool little like squishy, reminds me of like some sort of old 90s container. Little squishy uh, deal here, the little applicator up top and just squeeze that. Um, that's supposedly the oil that, or uh, the grease that Daiwa uses at the factory and stuff. Blue stuff, I like that. We'll uh, give it a go because whoever over at the factory needs to get a raise on the grease side because I've had some dry Daiwas and I love Daiwa. Next up is one that I think could really, really be sweet. And I got a shout out punch for this one because he had sent me a picture and said, oh, these are pretty cool. I said, eh, I don't, oh, they don't look that special to me. I ended up getting some and I had to message him back and say, I'm sorry, man, I was wrong because these things look pretty sick. From Kai Tech, what do they call it even? Nico Cameroon, three or uh, 5.5 Cameroon. Supposed to be like a craw, right? It's got two long appendages out front. It's got the little uh, feeler deal antenna things, but it's this long slender craw meant for the Nico rig. And it's even got a spot here in the middle. Can you see this? Get that to the side there. See how it's split in the middle? That's where you put your O-ring. So your hook goes there, put your weight down here. So when you pop it, it's gonna have that crawfish looking deet, 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 when you're popping it back. And you don't have to worry about this riding down all the time. Your O-ring here should be held right there by that. I think that's pretty cool. The uh, the profile of it, you know, it's small, kind of like a worm mixed with a craw right there, five and a half inches. If we're Debo finger measuring, yeah, okay, just short of six inches. I like it. So there we go. That thing is going to be sweet, sweet. That's the Okeechobee craw color. Your green pumpkin up top, pretty blue with the flake on bottom. I also got, like I said, the regular black color, no special flake or anything, in, just a, a black silhouette. Wait a minute, what's the deal with this one? Green pumpkin pee pee. Not sure what that stands for, but it's just regular old green pumpkin. It's got that squiddy smell. I love the smell of Kitex. I love uh, seafood, so mm, I eat it. Now these are not anything new. We'll have to see how they do. I did get some of the core tackle, some of these hover shot deals. It's all the rage. This is how you rig it if you've you know wondered how these work. You rig it inside the worm so there. So you insert it and then over the nose of the lead there, you pull the plastic over it so it's all inside the worm. We're gonna give this a go, see if I can pick up any on it. I'm not a live scope, you know, guy, so we'll see how that works. I also restocked up on some of these. People ask me all the time for a good EWG Ned Rig hook. Now it's not super crazy heavy wire, but um, a good Ned Rig EWG style that you can buy at the store if you don't make your own. One eighth ounce, one out. These owner blockheads are awesome. They have a little bit larger um, neck here where the plastic goes. Some of them like the Eagle Claws, there's some other ones. The next spot here to put the plastic is like minute. It's like 1 16th of an inch. So you get a little plastic in there and it tears. This one has a beefy enough spot there. You can get a good amount of plastic on. EWG Ned Rig hooks, if you like to Ned Rig fish from the bank, um, are kind of a must for me now. Y'all know I'm a fan of the Six Sense Provoke, so I bought some of their new ones, the 97 size Provoke. This is silent, dives three to five feet, and it's a half ounce in weight. This is Milliken's Matte Minnow Color, uh, and on the color, he absolutely crushed it. It's like a ghost minnow color. Ghost Minnow in Lucky Craft is probably my top two or three favorite color crankbaits ever of all time. That ghost minnow color is sick, and that's kind of what this reminds you of. Matte color, kind of that, you know, nothing too special, kind of a drab um, bait fish type color to it. Really like that one. So silent, that's just the O-ring there. 
no sound to it. So on those pressure lakes, good clear water, um, I want to mess around with the silent jerk baits more. Ooh, man, the hooks are razor sharp on these two. Also in the silent, this is the Wabi Sabi, which purple and chartreuse, come on, it works. Great color. Um, it's kind of a translucent. I almost thought it was like when I was looking at it, it's got like kind of a holographic um, glitter on it. So it kind of gives a little bit of a flash, but it's not a flashy. That's just the paint on it. It's more of a translucent color. Then I also got some of these. They sell this 97 size with the regular rattle. So again, that same Wabi Sabi color, purple chartreuse. Gold black back, which is awesome around here when your water has a little stain to it and you still want to use a jerk bait. And the Ghost Bone Minnow. This one reminded me of the 4K Shad. Probably my favorite color in the regular um, larger size, the Provoke. Kind of that opaque Shad bait fish color. Those are cool. Okay, last up is the Excite Baits Villain, a popper. It's three inches half ounce with size four hooks on it. I love throwing a popper. Um, one of the first topwater baits I really got confidence in. No special way to fish it. You can chug it, you can bloop it, you can walk it. Uh, but man, these things look awesome. Look at the colors on that one. It's this ghosted out, kind of like a sexy shad. What is it? Money maker, appropriately named. I think that will be a money color around here in the cleaner water. A lot of people say throw an all black popper. That's one I don't really throw. Probably should because nine times out of ten I throw an all black frog, but usually for poppers, top waters, uh, I'm throwing a white color. And this one they call hot bone. I had to check. Oh, hot bone. Uh, anyway, it's got this like kind of lavender top, orange mouth, some orange on the belly. Great color. They come with the feather um, already tied treble hooks. Treble hooks are nice and sharp on them. I hate that when you get a bait that's like more than a couple bucks and they've skimped on the hooks. Even even cheap baits, two dollar baits. They should have sharp hooks, come on. But anyway, I think that's gonna be a catcher and this is the sound to it. Kind of a hard knock mixed with some BBs, kind of the best of both worlds. Bet it'll have a good pop to it. Let me know, do y'all still throw the old popper out there? All right, fishing friends, do me a favor, comment below and let me know out of all these, which is your favorite? Are you a small mouth up north and you wanna try these little juvie craws? They're getting a lot of, uh, of airtime right now, a lot of people talking about them. Spring, maybe you like a jerk bait, a little finesse jerk bait, we'll uh, definitely get it done. Or maybe you wanna see old Debo get out this year and do a little Nico rigging with these cross. I think these are pretty cool from Kai Tech. So today, subscribe fishing friend again is my man Grant. Uh, thank you and thank you everybody else who supports me, whether it's a random person like that hitting me up saying, hey, do you want some of these? I'll buy you some. Um, other people, you know, willing to go places to get stuff for me or, or you know, trade me stuff. Uh, and just watching and supporting. People wanna send me stuff and all that. Y'all don't need to do that. The best way to support me is just watch, comment. That's it. It's free to do. So listen, love y'all. I got to edit. Thanks for watching. And until next time.